no sweat. Don't stress. We're not here to stress. We're here to just have fun. Okay. Now remember this line we drew here? Let's draw another one, except this one is going to be coming from here, and it's going to angle slightly differently, so like that. Okay? Just like that. Alrighty. And then here I'm going to do a little one and a two. See that? One, two, and then three. Okay? One, two, and three. Okay, now creep up this way a little bit. Okay, not quite halfway. And we're going to do another long C curve. And this is a shallow one. Check it out. Like that. With a little kicker at the end. Da da. Look at that. So we go like so. Okay, if you don't make these, uh, these sounds that I'm making, I'm afraid it just won't work, okay? So make sure you make the sounds. Um, and now we are going to make a line that doesn't touch anything. It's going to be its own little line. But it's going to start to the right of this little corner here and down right about here. Okay, see where I'm locating that? And it's going to be down to about here. Let me just go like that. And now I'm going to inch over this way, okay, just a hair. And I'm going to do another C curve, but this C curve is going to be more intense. Check it out. It's going to curve up. And stop right about here. If you want to give yourself a little target, you can do so. Okay, so I'm going to go down and up. All right, and then here comes the kicker again. Bam! Remember this one? I'm going to give myself a little space here, about the same amount of space as I would between here and here, just like this. And kind of echo that curve, but get a little narrower as I go down and stop right there. Hey, wait a minute, I see what's going on here. One and a two, and a three. See those little dashes right there? Let's do another dash right here, and a four. Hey, one, two, three, four. And right here, okay, give myself a little room, and just come on down with a little C-curve like that. Wait a second, wait a second, what is this? It is a firefighter, check it out. So right here, okay, I want you to connect one, and two, see that? And then we're gonna do a cool thing here. We're gonna go out and out, and then look at these lines I draw around it. See that? Out, out, and then one, two, three, four, and then check out this nice wavy line. Choo, 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 choo. Ah, running with a hose, right? And we just go like this. And get that hose flying out the back there. Add a little line here and a little line like that, and boom. Look what you have done. You have drawn a firefighter, right? Photoshop's freaking out on me right now when I try and resize stuff. I'm not sure what that's all about. That's weird, huh? Well, there you go. That was fun. A little firefighter action. Maybe he's a little nervous, like, yikes, got to take care of this. So we draw those little action lines, right? Do what you want. Make it your own, right? But hey, salute to our firefighters. Thank you for doing what you do and um, saving us all in uh, dangerous times. We appreciate the work that you do. and We thank you very much. Um, it is time, my friends, for who made that. So let's hide our little firefighter. And here is your clue for today. Here is your clue. Looking at just this little portion of a piece of art, I want to know if anybody out there can tell me who made this. Who is the artist responsible for this illustration? If you know the answer, you can just type it in the chat and we shall see what we shall see, okay? Very famous artist, one of my favorites. Um, and if, if you're not familiar with this person, then here's someone new for you to investigate and check out and uh, learn a little something about, okay? Sam Peterson, first guess gets it right. Bam, just like that. Look at that. It is, in fact, Mobius. Um, I see, hey, Gus is here. What's up, Gus? See some other folks, see some other folks. Um, oh, weird. It says I wasn't live. How long was I not live? What's that all about?
Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, gang, when I'm drawing, you know, it's hard for me to look at the chat at the same time. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Jeez Louise. Well, hope you can watch, watch it back. We drew a firefighter. Anyway, let's check out our good pal, Mobius. And here is the artwork. I'll zoom out a bit so you can see that. Isn't that lovely? Incredible concept artist, comics artist, sci-fi fantasy. A real master, legend of the comics and concept art world for film, known also as Mobius, okay? And um, his real name, Jean Giraud, right? And um, he is best known for his comics work on Blueberry and Arzac and the airtight garage of Jerry Cornelius, what a title, and has contributed fantastic artwork to films like Alien, Tron, The Fifth Element, and The Abyss. Not a bad little career there. If I do say so. And uh, wow, look at this one. One of my favorites. He's got a lot of illustrations of people riding on these giant birds or bird-like creatures. Um, and one thing I love is that he's always working in the architecture into nature. You see how these houses and villages seem to be just hewn out of the rock. Huh? Look at this cool little fairy. There's so many elements that are taken from what we know from reality. You know, just twist it and turn it just a little bit and change it into something fantastic. And here I wanted to show you, whenever you watch a film, whenever you watch a movie, um, any kind of sci-fi, action, superhero, um, pretty much anything, you know, before they go and make these costumes and before they go and build the sets and everything, best thing to do is hire an artist or many artists to get together and do some sketches and do some drawings. And so this was done for a uh, uh, film that did not get made. It was a version of Dune that never actually got produced, but the artwork that Mobius did is quite famous for that film because it was so good. Um, but yeah, you know, think about this because if you are really interested in drawing and in art, one area that you could focus on would be, you know, coming up with ideas for films and even for video games and TV and things like that. But uh, what a treat, huh? To be able to sit there and just let your imagination run wild in some kind of amazing world and do some illustrations. So Mobius got to do that as well. So he really had a good time with his art. It showed. You could tell he was enjoying himself. Um, check him out. Look him up. Quite the legendary figure. And uh, what a drafts person. Truly amazing. And uh, there you go. So that was um, who made that. And I'm, whoop. Wow, we got time for this today? I guess we do. You know what that alarm means. It is time for Appreciation Station, folks. And today we are appreciating Julian. Julian, I want to thank you. You may not remember this. But back in that uh, dig in 1994, we were on a dinosaur dig together. You might remember this. And um, I was just reaching out over a chasm to try and get that pterodactyl, pterodactyl uh, jawbone. And I slipped and I was going to fall. And if it hadn't been for you, quickly holding out that T-Rex fibia bone for me to hold on to, I would have fallen and I'd be a fossil myself. So I want to thank you for your quick thinking and uh, being so sure on your feet and taking care of business and saving me from what was surely going to be a messy disaster. So thank you very much. We appreciate you. And uh, now it is time for us to go ahead and do the animal and activity game, where you will suggest for me, please, in the chat, an animal doing something strange, something funny, something weird, something bizarre. And uh, let's just see what happens, OK? Because every time you do this, it's always something new. Last week, boy, this was a fun one, one of my favorites, Godzilla golfing. How about that? We also did a uh, boxing dove. Get it? Boxing dove, boxing glove. <laughs> uh, that was a good time. And so today, who knows what it's going to be? It's always something different. It's always something different. So let me get my nice light blue color here so I can draw with that. And um, this is my sketching color. I like to draw with this light blue color. We've got room over here. Our firefighter's just going to hang out while we do this and he can watch, okay? We have a mouse surfing on a slice of pizza, a squirrel on a bike, a tiger kneading dough, a weasel fighting a tangle of internet cables, preventing Kyle from streaming. Gosh, I wish I knew what happened there, but I don't. Um, what else? Hippo doing the floss. <laughs> Jaguar eating a sour pickle at a picnic. That's funny. Um, what else do we have? A lion teaching a music class. That's fun. A Kraken practicing chiropractic. Ha 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 ha. Davis, that's fun. I like that, Davis. Um, can't remember how to draw Kraken, although I can, I can in my head sort of picture the one from the 19, 
80 film, I think it was uh, Clash of the Titans, 1979, 78, something like that. Um, alrighty, so great choices, as always. Really fun stuff. Mm, what to do, what to do. Um, how about the... Uh, I guess we could we could try and do the hippo doing the floss, Sherry. That's that's pretty fun. See if I can pull that off. Um, let's give it a try. All right, so we're gonna have the hippo here. Arms out this way. body kind of kicking out that way and let's make the arms just a hair shorter I mean it is a hippo after all we're not gonna have long arms on a hippo that'd be weird right so I it sounds like Paco did something to kind of save me today. I don't know what he did, but thanks, Paco. Um, wherever you are, and however you did that. All right, here is this hippo flossing it up. There, I like that, that sort of tilt of the head. That's kind of fun, you know, tilting the head up. Like, look at me, I'm good at this. All right, let's knock that back a hair, okay? Let's grab our darker blue. Here we go. And you know what time it is. Line art time, and a one, two, and away we go. By the way, I know I know hippos have like big teeth, but I can never remember are they they're on top and bottom, right? They've got them facing uh, the sky and facing the ground, don't they? The hippos. Oops, let's get that line a little better. There we go. I've heard that hippos just are, you know, they're fun to draw and people like them and all that, but, but they're actually quite nasty, pretty mean animals, very territorial, murderous in fact, or so I've been told by my kids who've read up on this kind of stuff. So. Alrighty, there we go. How is that? How's that looking? Put a smiley face on the hippo. We know there's like a little, little smiley emoji there. Hippo's happy to be doing it. Maybe the hippo just learned this 
and finally got the coordination down because you know I've tried doing the the floss as, as we all have and um, not as easy as it looks well at least not for me anyway took me a minute but uh, I can do it now don't worry I can do it Boy, I hope that kid made some money off that dance. At least as, as far as I know, he's he is the inventor, right? The floss kid, whoever he is. I hope somehow he got, you know, compensated. I don't know. Did something must something good happen to him, I hope. Because that was a worldwide thing that uh, really took over there for a while, didn't it? All right. Check that out. There you go. There is our friend the hippo what a fun idea thanks everybody great suggestions as always we'll do this again tomorrow um same time 5 30 p.m eastern hey quick note for everybody um if you like photoshop brushes i just released a brand new free photoshop brush for everybody so go grab it it's uh just go to gumroad.com slash kyle t webster that's gum like chewing gum road dot com slash kyle t webster and you're going to find a bunch of free brushes there um and the one that i just made uh is called the builder okay so enjoy it and play with it let me know what you think okay thanks for hanging out thanks for watching the show and uh, i'll see you back here tomorrow everybody remember please to be kind and uh, i'll say ciao for now